The English language has always had a penchant for pinching words from other languages, euphemistically known as loan words, assigning new meaning to old words and not necessarily dropping the original meaning in the process, turning nouns into verbs, creating new conjuncts and so on. English people joked that we did it to confuse the foreigners. Of course, this has accelerated during significant events, such as the two world wars, the space race, the internet, etc, etc. At the moment, the COVID pandemic is creating a field day for wordsmiths worldwide. Only four months ago, how many people would have known what an air bridge was? or what the R rate indicated, or what social distancing meant. To deep clean probably inferred that the carpet was very dirty, and bubbles came in little tubes for kids to blow. To take bubbles as an example, in Elizabeth von Arnhem's novel, The Enchanted April, Mrs. Wilkins observes that people could only be really happy in pairs, any sorts of pairs. If she had lived a hundred years later, she may very well have used the word bubbles. So there is now a whole new raft of changed words and phrases at our disposal. We have become so used to them that when they're used in their old sense, they can cause momentary confusion. We can spin entire paragraphs with them, for example, if one's bubble was unfortunate enough to jump on an air bridge to a country that suddenly goes into lockdown because its R rate spikes, possibly due to lack of enforcement of social distancing, then on return, one's bubble would have to self-isolate for 14 days because this is the new normal. And Mrs. Wilkins, sitting on her chair in San Salvatore 100 years ago, whilst understanding all the words and phrases, wouldn't have a clue what you were talking about. <laughs>